My name is John Tibbs and I'm a fisheries biologist in uh, District 2B, which is in Waco. Well, blue catfish, of course, are a very popular um, species that have, that have grown in popularity in recent years. Um, what we're doing right now is, is looking as part of an overall uh, general catfish management plan that we're doing. This is a small subset of it. We're looking at the, whether or not we're going to have the ability to manage specifically for trophies in, in a reservoir. And so with that goal in mind, we picked three reservoirs that looked to have the potential to produce trophies. And those reservoirs are Lake Louisville, Lake Richland Chambers, and Lake Waco. And Lake Waco is where we're at, we're at today. <clears throat> um, uh, one of the benefits of this slot limit that we're doing, uh, that, we've, that we're actually have implemented and we're evaluating, is that it, it, it requires that people return 30 to 45 inch fish to the water, but it doesn't keep them from keeping 30 inch and less fish. So you can still catch 25 fish and keep them um, 10 pounds on less, uh, 10 pounds or less. So <clears throat> it allows you to have that meat fishery as well as a trophy fishery because you've got the fish that are protected in the slot and then you've got the fish that are over 45 inches, you can only harvest one of those, and that's designed for that person which catches the trophy of a lifetime. There is a strong movement uh, on a lot of the catfish management boards that uh, catch, photograph, and release everything over 10 pounds, and 30 inches is about 10 pounds. It may be more like 13 or 14, but uh, so there's already a strong um, ethic to do that and we've got good evidence that people are willing to do that. Um, so that, that was the rationale behind that. The other thing is, is that uh, we believe that that time frame that it takes for a fish to get into 30 inches and grow through to 45 inches uh, is not unduly um, onerous for the, for, for the fish population. We think that it will actually work. We will see additional fish making it into that slot limit and increasing the trophy potential for people. Yeah, those, those fish are actually, if you look, they're, they're the ones that are gonna be the most fecund, gonna produce the, the, the most number of, of fish. And one of the hallmarks of, of our blue catfish introduction program that we've had over the last 20 to 30 years is a long delay between the stocking of the original fish and the actual um, production of, of small fish and an actual fishery and it may be 10, 15 years in many cases, which lends further evidence that it takes a long time for those fish to mature, get to a size where they're actually producing enough offspring to sustain, create and sustain a fishery. Well, today uh, we're, going to, we're going to head out and we're going to pick right. up uh, 25 Good. jug lines that we've actually put out in the lake uh, yesterday. Those jug lines were baited with um, uh, cut shad and um, we've got three hooks per jug line, a, a small brick for a weight on the bottom, and the actual jug itself is uh, what's commonly nice. referred to as a floaty uh, that people use in their pools. Now the ones we're using today, we've actually, uh, they're different colors, they're pink and they're purple and things like that, which are not legal for use uh, by the general public. We did that on purpose so that people would recognize our jugs out here and, and leave them alone. But uh, yeah, go they have to be white if you're, if you're fishing uh, a, a, as, a, as a, a general fisherman. Um, we're going to pull these jugs out. We hopefully are going to have a lot of big blue catfish. We've been catching quite a few. Um, it's early January right now. We should be hitting the peak of these large fish um, throughout this time period. Those fish that, uh, that uh, we need, we're actually going to sacrifice and we're going to pull an, an otolith out of their head. Uh, that otolith uh, is, has rings on it like a, like a tree trunk and we're going to process those otoliths and determine exactly how old these fish are. Uh, that's critical to us, uh, for us to look at the population as a whole, um, hopefully model that population and say, you know, using a computer and say, is it reasonable for us to place this slot limit on this population? 
for example, if it takes 20 years for a fish to get to be 30 inches long and only 1% of the fish in the population get to be that long, maybe the slot limit's not appropriate because we're not really going to get those fish, large numbers of fish into that slot. However, if we look at it and maybe 5% of the population makes it into that slot, um, that might be acceptable. Uh, we know a large proportion of them are going to be vulnerable to harvest, which is fine. I mean, blue catfish fried in a pan are tasty, and we know that, and what we'd like to have is the best of both worlds, where anglers can catch all those small fish that they could reasonably use, currently 25 per day per angler, um, but yet we still have some left over that once they reach a certain size, they get large and, and, and the trophy anglers can go out and catch them. And we've got a lot of precedence for that uh, in bass fishing. Um, a lot of our slot length, length limits, uh, where they were appropriately applied, say fork, have been extremely successful. And so we hope to basically mimic that success with the blue catfish.